up it's michelle and i am back with another video for you guys and i'm coming from you straight from my bed because y'all it is cozy in my bed and it's cold as shit in texas y'all i don't know what texas is going through but i'm not liking it it was literally just like warm we were wearing shorts and flip-flops and stuff literally last week and now it's 39 degrees outside so needless to say i'm in my bed recording this video i have the heat on but it takes a little while to kick in so for the meantime i still want to get this video out this is my third time recording this video and the other two times i don't know what happened to the footage but it was corrupted so third time's a charm and i'm recording in my bed this time maybe maybe this will work this time <laughs> Hey you, hey guys, what's up? It's Michelle. I am back with another video for you guys. I know I have not seen y'all since like last year. And you you guys have been asking me questions. You guys have been commenting. I've had some of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and message me. Like, girl, what the hell is going on? I see you started this other business. What you doing? Where you at? <laughs> hey y'all, I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. I promise. No. Um, I have started a new business and that would it and that is what today's video is about. I wanted to share with you guys because I've gotten a lot of questions. I've had a lot of you guys um hit me up in my DM like, oh, I really like what you started. You know, how did you do that? Can you tell me more about it? And then I've had other people who I don't know, but they found me on TikTok or they found me on think pinterest and facebook and they would message me saying hey you know i'm from this state and i'm looking to start the same business and can you help me and i'm like girl yes let me give you the deets i don't have much time to do one-on-one -on -one right now but i'm still gonna give you the deets girl i got you i got you i got you i'm gonna spread that love i'm gonna spread that love because i mean there's no need to hide any information um from anybody we all can get this check out here y'all so um that's what today's video is about i am going to be sharing with you guys how I started my luxury picnic business. Um, literally started this business in December, y'all. And it has been growing. I'm so shook. <laughs> like, it's been doing really good. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing so far. Um, now, I, by any means, I am not rich. I'm just sharing with you what has worked for me. Uh, my business is still growing and I kind of wanted to kind of take you guys along on the process of me and I, I've said I was going to do this when I first started the business like oh I want to document everything so I kind of show everybody the process and then I would document stuff and then I record mostly everything on my phone and then my kids have the same iCloud account as me um, or we have like a shared family account and so you know when the storage gets full and I got to delete some things and I deleted a few of the things that I wasn't supposed to delete <laughs> So yeah, a lot of the stuff that I was trying to document, a lot of that stuff kind of got lost in the deletion process, but we're here and I still want to document and share with you guys everything that has worked for me so far, how I started this business, um, how it's going so far, how I'm able to grow it, um, and hopefully help someone who wants to do the same business. Um, so yeah, before we get into this video, cause I will ramble on and on, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content from me and yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, first things first, um, I started this business mainly because I'm a single mom of three. Yes, I was popping that pussy for a real nigga and then I realized he was fake as hell, but I am a single mother and it's hard out here for you know for real y'all it's really hard like and during covid i didn't realize how much this woman needs a break like i need a break i need a break like i love my kids to death but sometimes you just need that space and i have an a i have a background in event planning and event styling and stuff like that and i've always loved doing it and due to covid I did lose um, that business. I wasn't able to do that business anymore and a lot of events and stuff like that got canceled, which really hit hard. <laughs> it hit really, really hard. Um, that along with another one of my businesses that I had, I lost that business as well due to COVID. And I was literally just stuck at home with my kids all the time. 
I have no other human interaction other than with my kids, my parents, and my family, my sisters, which when I be able to go to my family house, that, that, that time just means the most to me right now just because a girl don't be doing anything. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything like that. Um, just because I'm just one of those mommies who just likes to be involved in their kid's life as much as possible. But at the same time, this mommy needs a break. So needless to say, um, when I started to kind of start to plan my goals for 2021 and I started planning my goals early last year, I started planning like November and I was like, you know what? I really want to be able to meet people. I want to be able to go out. I know we can't really go out like that, but I want to be able to meet people in a unique way. I want to be able to meet people and still be able to provide an experience to people. So I started doing my research. Oh, my eyelash just got it. Screws me. I started doing my research um, about um, the luxury picnic business, I want to say like mid-November, um, and I was just kind of researching and seeing how other people were doing it, and I've seen a lot of other people doing it in California. It is, California, y'all got that, y'all got that on lock. Like, it is beautiful out there. They got like the little beach, oh, if, if only Dallas had a beach. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no kind of beach. We got lakes, but we ain't got no beach. But y'all got it so beautiful out there with the little umbrellas and all that little stuff like that. It's just so pretty how y'all have it out there. And that was mainly where I was seeing a lot of the um, picnics pop up was in California when I was doing my research and just trying to see like, you know, how they were setting things up, how they were pricing their things, um, what all were they using and stuff like that. I was mainly seeing everything in California and then I did see uh, Houston. I saw Houston, I think I seen like one or two in Houston. Um, but far as Dallas, I wasn't really seeing anybody pop up in Dallas when I was doing my research. Um, I wasn't seeing too much of Dallas out there. So with that being said, I was like, okay, it's not as competitive of a market. This is a new, you know, I can tap into a new market, you know, do something new. This will give me a chance to be able to, you know, go out there and just, you know, create something beautiful. I love making stuff with my hands, y'all. Like, I am such a creative being. I'm always doing something. Like, I can't sit still. I'm always doing something. I'm always making something. So, this just gives me an opportunity to do that and let that creative aggression go out, you know. Let it out. Let it out. Let it, let it go out. Anywho, so, um... That's what made me really start this business because it gives me opportunity to meet other people. I get to be able to express myself creatively and I get to be able to provide a nice and beautiful experience and something unique to couples, family, friends, parties, things like that. And I enjoy all of that. So I was like, why not just sprinkle it all into a business? So that's what I did. So first things first, um, if you are looking to start this as a business, you want to make sure you get your business name registered, whether that is a DBA or an LLC. Now, me personally, I already have an LLC. So what I did is I put my business name under my LLC. Like there was no need for me to go out and get a whole nother LLC when I already have an LLC and I can just put that business under the LLC, if that makes sense. Um, and it saves you some money in the end. Um, cause most LLCs out here in Texas cost $300 and I want to pay $300 again right now. Um, so for right now it's just a DBA and I think, or an assumed name under that business. So, um, and to do that in Texas, it's only like $25 to put like a assumed name under your LLC. So it's way cheaper than spending like $300. So I would say register your business. That would be first. And then once you register your business, um, you want to start, um, I would I would definitely say open up a business bank account so, and also get your business EIN. So I have all of that. Um, and once you have all of that done, you want to also um, start doing your research on the market and um, start also building a website. And as far as building the website, how I built mine, I do have a video for that for you guys and I will be uploading that soon. And I actually have a ton of videos that I've created for you guys and I just, I haven't gotten around to editing them because I've been so busy. But um, I will be editing them and putting them out so you guys can kind of see the process that I went through as far as like making my website, my business um, postcards and you know, all of the stuff that I've did to make my business, you'll be able to see all of that and see the process from like 
start to now but um i'll be able i'll be sure to share that with you guys but you do want to make sure you have yourself registered and you want to go ahead and start doing your research on your particular market so like i said i didn't see anyone really in dallas especially no one black owned i did not see anyone black owned doing this business in dallas so i was like you know what let me spice up something let me bring something new to dallas and that's what i did so far as uh, when it came to research, I started to research the prices that most people were uh, doing when it came to their picnic, like how they were pricing them themselves. You want to also take in mind that it takes <laughs> it takes some time <laughs> to put this stuff together. People think you're like, oh, it's cute. It, it probably didn't take no girl, <laughs> girl. It takes time to put this together. Like literally every single picnic setup that i do i literally have to drill like take apart and put together each one of my tables before each event and then not to mention like the decorating part like it takes a while so make sure that you include that in your price your time you also want to include the price of the materials that you're using um and the time that it's going to take for you to clean those materials because all the materials that i have um most of them i have that are reusable and they need to be sanitized so i can be able to use them again so you want to make sure you include that in your pricing. Um, you also want to research um, what is popular services that you can use um, and include in your business as well and what um, the demand is for that service. So once you have all that together, my next tip would be to uh, look into your inventory and look into purchasing inventory. Now. You can do exactly how I did. I did not go out here and just all of a sudden purchase everything. Like I purchased things piece by piece, um, week by week, day by day. You know, I didn't just go out here to spend a whole bunch of money. I mean, when you add it all together, I did spend a bunch of money, but I didn't just go do it all at once. So far as when it comes to inventory, you want to make sure that you obviously have a picnic table. And I do have a video that I'll be posting soon about that, how to build your own. Uh, when I was doing my research uh, for picnic tables, I seen people who use crates and like plywood. It was cute and all, but the crates would be taking up too much room in my little small SUV. <laughs> Mama got a small car. I mean, it's a cute little SUV, cute little Nissan Rogue. We cute, we beep beep, we bop bop, we boom boom. But uh, honey, I, I can't be, I need room and I got three kids. So, and 99.9% .9 they're with me. <laughs> so um we need room for the babies to be in the car so i couldn't do the plywood and the, the crates and all that kind of stuff like that but i also seen people if you can i mean that works perfectly for you if you have a trailer and all that stuff like that which is something that i'm also looking into investing in is getting a trailer um then that's perfect for you but i ain't got that right now so make it work for you um i would also look into um this is just another option for tables um palettes if you are into that look i think it's cute is really cute but it just takes up too much room and i live in a small apartment and everything for my business is stored in my house um and it's literally a small one bedroom one study apartment like so your girl has been trying to make ways to store everything so just think about that and think about your storage when it comes to um your tables and whatever other add-on accents that you add to this business because honey my storage solutions are they were running thin they were running thin so just think about that but i personally didn't do the palette method because it just takes up too much room and i ain't got time for all that i need as much space as possible to be able to haul all the crap that i have to haul um so what i did is i built my table from scratch i went and got my wood cut at home depot i would highly recommend using home depot just for this because lowe's when i was trying to get wood cut there um for the particular table that I made, they cannot cut the four by fours that you need. And when I post a video, you'll, it'll make much more sense, but they could not cut that. So Home Depot does, and Home Depot does cut for you. Um, usually they'll do five cuts for free, but I mean, I'd be getting a ton of cuts cut for free. Cause I mean, I'd be like, well, I don't have anybody to help me cut this at home. You know, it's just me. And then I'm a female too. So they just kind of just, girl be walking around with about 20 some cuts but anywho um <laughs> i 
I got all my wood and stuff cut at Home Depot. So another uh, thing far as inventory you want to look into is pillows. So uh, for me personally, I purchased all my pillows from Five Below. A few of them I purchased from Walmart. And the main reason why I purchased them from Five Below because they're only $5. And also, um, you can get some or you can make some if you're like me and you like to make stuff. Um pillow covers like the little cushion covers that you can put over the pillows that way that you can reuse it doesn't matter what color the pillow is you can reuse that pillow over and over again because you can um take the cushion or cover off and wash it after your picnic so i just thought that was perfect and that was the most inexpensive way to get as many pillows as possible um next for inventory you also want to think about your glass and dishware now it's completely up to you what you want to do for that um me personally i have actual glassware you can go the disposable route but it's going to start cutting into your profit eventually but if you want to go that route i mean it's easy because you can just throw everything away after your picnic uh, you can do your like disposable dishes and disposable plates and forks and stuff like that but me personally i want to keep my cost low I was taught this very young. Keep, uh, keep your price high and your overhead low, okay? That way you're able to make profit, especially when you're first starting. Um, but me personally, I um, I don't use disposable anything right now. I use uh, actual plates. I use actual forks. I use actual glassware. And the reason why I did that is because I can use that over and over again. I, I, I still got to go home and wash some dishes and everything like that. It is kind of annoying. Um, but right now, that's what I do use just because it keeps my costs low while I'm growing. And then once I get to a point to where I can start using more disposable stuff, um, I will. And the only reason why I don't use disposable stuff because... I mean, you could buy it in bulk and reuse it. I mean, you could buy it in, in bulk and um, do it that route. But just starting out, I just use real glassware personally. I just think it looks better with the real glasses and stuff like that. It doesn't look as cheap. It actually looks really nice. So, I mean, and you can get some disposable glassware. Don't get me wrong. You can get some disposable glassware that looks really good. But the ones that I've seen that looks really good are typically really pricey. And it's like, if I'm going to pay that for like plastic i'm gonna i'm just gonna get the real glassware so most of my glassware i purchased at dollar tree um far as like my plates i purchased my plates and saucer at dollar tree i also purchased some plates from ikea um and then i also as far as my glassware i purchased my glassware at um like my uh, wine glasses, I purchased those at Walmart because at Dollar Tree, I would have been paying $12. And at Walmart, you can get a case of like their wine glasses or their flute glasses for like $9.88 or something in that price range. And it has 12 in there. So I was like, I'm going to save them a couple of dollars. And then far as my silverware, I also got my silverware from um, Walmart. So um that is the plate and dishware let me see what else also napkins now napkins you can definitely use disposable if you want to i have disposable napkins and then i also have real napkins um and napkins you can get fairly cheap on amazon i think i got a pack of like 24 for like 12 dollars maybe or maybe even cheaper to that i can't remember but uh i'll be sure to link everything down below that i did purchase um Another thing that I purchased uh, for inventory is candles. So candles are something that you can get fairly inexpensive. Um, luckily, I make candles and my sister makes candles too. And I sell it on my business, so I already have some candles. And then also I use tapered candles. Uh, tapered candles, you can get those at the Dollar Tree. You can also get those at the thrift store for fairly, fairly cheap. And then you can also get like pillar candles and stuff like that at the Dollar Tree. I've also seen some really nice and unique candles. Thr uh, pillar candles at the thrift store I am an avid thrifter and I'm a reseller anyway so I mean your girl's always at the thrift store so when I find stuff I just pick it up now that's another thing that I need to actually get onto. when you are out and about and you just see stuff for your business pick it up when you see it I've seen some really like really really cute placemats that I got at Hobby Lobby it was like these like really cute boho placemats and they had them on sale they were normally like nine or ten dollars and when I had got them on sale they were like five dollars and your girl loves a bargain honey so yeah <laughs> that brings me to placemats uh you also want to get placemats um if you want this is not something that you have to do but it just really depends on your aesthetic and what you're going for my aesthetic is mostly bohemian um style and aesthetic and people typically like that style 
um, you can do whatever style that you want to do. Um, but I purchased per personally, um, most of my style of my stuff is bohemian. Um, let me see what else as far as inventory. So we talked about pillars. Oh, rugs. You also want to make sure that you get a crap ton of rugs. All of my rugs, most of all of my rugs have came from Five Below, Ikea, and yeah, Five Below and Ikea. Um, my big rug is from Ikea, and then my smaller rugs that I use to layer are from Five Below. Five Below is a great place, honey. A great place for this business. I'm just for the cute stuff, okay? It's just cute. Um, what else? Um, I also purchased a tarp. Now, Home Depot sells tarps, but personally, I like the tarps that Walmart sold because they had this, like, tannish, brownish looking tarp. And I have um, three different ones. So, I have one that's for, like, if I have a setup for just a couple. And then I also have one that's for, like, a bigger party, like, um... It's actually two of those, but it's like a bigger size tarp. So there's different sizes. Um, and they come in different colors, but I personally like the brown one. Um, and then I also use a sheet. I use a queen size sheet to be able to cover the tarp so that you don't see the tarp, you know? And then I also use tarp hooks to be able to hook it into the grass so that it stays in place and it doesn't blow away when you're setting stuff up. Um, and it looks really pretty. But, um... Let me see, that is pretty much all I have for like the main parts of inventory. Those are like the main key things that you'll need to start. Everything else that I'm discussing after this is pretty much add-ons. So if you want to have add-ons in your business, I would highly suggest it. Um, and I personally do, and this is something that you can continue to add as add-ons to your business. So personally, I have a few add-ons. I have a peacock chair I have balloons I have fresh florals um my typical setup already comes with like silk foliage um but you can add on fresh florals or certain packages already included in there um I also offer like party favors party boxes um there's just so much that you can do to add as an add-on it just depends on what you want to do and what you're capable of doing and what you have time for um my peacock chair I was y'all were just so excited when I got that I have to tell you guys a story so I uh was on Facebook marketplace and I was doing my due diligence you know stalking the Facebook marketplace because I love a good deal and I just ran across this chair, y'all. It was so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. And I messaged a lady and she was like, oh, well, it's pending right now. This lady is going to be coming. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And then I was like, well, girl, if she don't come, let me know. Because I want that chair. That chair is for me. That chair is meant for me. And Lord, I prayed over that chair. I said, Lord, if that chair is for me, let it be for me, Lord. Because I need that chair. That chair. Lord, I need that chair. And guess what? God answered my prayers. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? He answered my prayers, y'all. And that chair is mine and she's beautiful. Now, this chair it was um the couple that I went to and I got it from. It was their grandmother's chair and she had recently died, which is sad. But now she's been giving a new life with me because she was a little bit dusty, y'all. She had her outside and stuff like that. But they said her their grandmother used to sit in that chair every day outside and stuff like that. Um, and she loved that chair. But the chair was outside, so it was a bit weathered, like it was just dusty from like being outside. So I took good care of her. She got a good scrub it up dub. She got a bath, and we stained her, and she's just beautiful and just glowing and glistening, girl. She looked like a whole new chair. I'm gonna insert a picture so y'all can see, cause she's a whole new chair, honey, a whole new chair. Anywho, thanks for coming to my TED talk. I had to share that with you guys because the chair was just so pretty. Anywho, so that is something that I have as an add-on. I have big ones and I also have little ones for uh, kids so they can have a little peacock chair moment too. Um, and I got those from another uh, seller on Facebook Marketplace and I got three of them y'all for 160 People don't be knowing what kind of trash they be. Don't give me nothing because honey, girl, like she was like, well, this is a mess. I said, honey, we can fix all of that. Give her here. Give her here. So yeah, um, anywho, we'd, so that is pretty much all of the inventory part. So now that we have the inventory part out the way, now we need to get into packages and services. And this video is just going to be a long video. I'm sorry, guys. It's going to be a really long video. I probably should have said that at the beginning, but 
it's gonna be a long video so now you want to get into your packages and services so i uh offer different packages depending on the amount of people that's going to be there so i have a couples package so just for two people i have a package for four people uh not six people do i have six people i think i have six people i know i i know for sure i have two yeah i do have six i have two i have four i have six i have ten and then i have a package for 16. and so it just really depends on what you want to do and what you're open to doing uh, me personally, I don't want to do events larger than 24 for picnics just because I don't have a way as of now, in the future I will, uh, to carry everything for more than 24 people. I have a small little issue me, so yeah. But um, you want to kind of just look at the area and see what they're offering. I'll have my website link below so you guys can check that out and see what I offer in my package and see what you want to offer in your package. I mean, you can add to or take from and just kind of price it off of that. Um, also, uh, you want to make sure that you price yourself accordingly. Okay, that's all I can say. Price yourself accordingly. Know your worth, baby okay so now that we've talked about pricing now that we've talked about pricing let's go ahead and talk about marketing so honestly y'all this business it markets itself like you'll be surprised that it markets itself like literally especially even if you're just getting started um i know when i was just getting started i had went to a couple parks in my area um, and I had scoped out quite a few parks, but I went to a couple parks in my area and I just went and set up my picnics just so I can get a really good picture of the whole entire layout and things like that. Um, and literally people were coming to me like, girl, what are you doing? This is cute. Like, what's the tea, sis? And I'm like, oh, I'm about to launch this. Here you go. Here you go. You know, and gave them my info like, y'all, this literally sells itself. So I would highly suggest, especially with you getting started, I would highly suggest that you go and set up in some different parks in your area, research the parks that you want to, you know, be able to set up your picnics at and just go set up and take your pictures. It's free. You know, ain't nobody finna come at you at a park. So it's free. Um, another thing that I also want to talk about is um, you can also offer these services indoor to people and at their home so you don't always have to just do the picnic at a park it can be at their home if that's something that you're comfortable with and also you can do it like in their backyard and stuff like that there's just so many possibilities that you can do with this business and it's just y'all it's just so much you can do like you can just get so creative with it okay so my next step that i definitely want to include especially now with the sea girl running around here rampant and stuff is you want to make sure that you have items that you can completely sanitize and disinfect. Um, all of my pillows, they pretty much go into a pillowcase and I take those off and wash them. If I don't use the pillowcases for that particular thing, because some of the pillows I like the color, I take them pillows and I wash them right after that event. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for the sea girl. I ain't got time. Um, next, I would highly recommend that you use and wear gloves when you're going to set up these picnics. Um, or make sure that your hands are thoroughly cleaned and make sure that you're wearing a mask uh, anytime you're around your customers. I make sure for any event that I do, um, I wear a mask when I'm around my customers and I make sure my hands are sanitized. Um, I also provide sanitizer for my customers so that they're able to have an area, especially if I'm doing something that's outdoors, that they can be able to wash their hands and make sure that they're, you know, good and stuff like that. Um, another thing is you just want to make sure that you can disinfect your table. So um, when you do build your table, I would highly recommend putting some type of protective coating on it that you're able to wipe down and stuff like that so if somebody spills something like that gets food on it you're able to wipe down and sanitize it and then obviously the dishes if you're using real glassware like i do uh, make sure you you clean them dishes good make sure them clean okay hot water hot water bleach soap okay i'm just saying cleanliness is next to godliness okay <laughs> And my next tip that i want to give you guys is uh use a checklist 
me personally, I know I have squirrel brain. I know I do. Like, squirrel and it's gone. I promise. Because I be doing too much. I do. And then I got these kids and then I got these businesses. I, I be doing too much. But I like to do too much. But at the same time, I be doing too much so I forget stuff. So I have to have a checklist. So I would highly recommend this just makes your packing process when you pack for your um your events so much smoother and so much easier when you have a checklist and you're able to kind of check off okay I packed this and then also far as me for packing mostly I use a lot of my Ikea bags um because your girl when I tell you I can see Ikea, Ikea from like my window literally I live there close to Ikea like it's a walk in the park for me to get to Ikea and I stay there but I use my Ikea bags faithfully to help me pack up my stuff um, and Ikea has different bags. They have like this little rainbow one and this little blue one. But I don't care nothing about what the bag look like because I use it because it's big enough to, to carry all my stuff. But um, I have a checklist that I use um, to pretty much help me pack each party. So I have a different checklist for each event, if that makes sense. So depending on which package that person chose, I have a uh, specific checklist for that so for like my couples package like you know for two with just a basic package or for four six ten sixteen i have a different checklist for each one and so it just pretty much includes everything that's included in that package and now if that customer wants to add things on i have pretty much like a little area on the side where i can just write down what they want to add on to their particular picnic that way i know to add this on and pretty much what i did is i use um I printed this out. Sorry, I felt like I was going to burp. There you go. Oop, there you go. Mm. I pretty much printed out that checklist and I laminated it so I can be able to write on it with like an expo marker and reuse it. Um, if you don't want to be able to reuse it because you don't want to, you know, accidentally erase anything, you can just print it out and just have it with you as you go. Um, that way you can just write everything down and see what you need and just kind of check it off as you go. Checklists are the best way for my brain to be able to operate and function because like I said, if it's not written down, I forgot it. I forgot it. So, yeah, but I would highly recommend that. I also would highly recommend if you don't want to be the bag lady like me, um, get a wagon. I haven't invested and got one, but this is something that I need to take my own advice on. It's going to get one of those little little dolly wagon things so that you're not carrying so much. Because, girl. But I haven't got one yet. Um, But I would say to or suggest to invest in one of those um, so you're able to help you know, unload stuff and will it to wherever you need without having to make so many trips. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for, um, that's pretty much it for far as, um, your pack list. Um, it just makes it easier so you don't forget anything, um, and you're not struggling, okay? You don't want to have no bad reviews because you forgot what your customer needed, especially if they paid for add-ons and you forgot it, like, this is just this just keeps you organized um another thing that i would highly suggest and this is what i do and what i use honestly for my business because i have so many businesses use a planner okay use a planner i have pretty much a binder that i use as a planner and pretty much i just have like a calendar that i made like a little tip before and printed out and just hole punched it and put it into my binder so i'm able to write down the days that i have picnics i'm also able to um and this is just something that i like to do for myself i'll schedule days just to do like a style shoot whether i do it inside or i do it outside but pretty much I try to uh, set that up on a day that I pretty much make all my content for all my other businesses too. So I'm not just out here just wilding every single day. But use a planner. Uh, use some type of binder to be able to track your expenses. Keep your receipts. Literally in my binder, I have like a little pocket folder where I keep every single receipt that I have used, like spent money on for this business. I keep every single receipt just so i'm able to be able to deduct that when it comes to taxes and i ain't got no problems with miss uh uncle sam okay i ain't got time so i would highly suggest that and it just helps you keep organized you can see you know what kind of expenses you you've um done for the year you know what you've spent and if you break anything or anything is damaged or anything like that you can kind of see you know what you paid for it and if it's easier to replace 
um, and things like that. Another thing that you also want to uh, make sure you have is enough storage space. Me personally, I live in a one bedroom study with my uh, three kids. So your girl's storage needs are, are desperately needed. I need a house so bad. I'm about my house this year. I'm naming it and claiming it in the name of Jesus because I can't do this no more. When I say you my storage, what storage, girl? Like, I've had to make ways to store stuff, but I would definitely say make sure you have enough room to store everything because you're going to find yourself collecting so much stuff. Like, I have so many pillows. I have so much dishware. I have little knickknacks and little props and stuff like that. I have so many picnic baskets, okay? I, I just have so much stuff that are just add-ons that are around my house. And some of them I've had to just style in the house just as a decorative accent until it's time to use for a picnic. But girl, make sure you have enough storage, okay? Don't be like me. I'm in a small apartment running all of this. It, it, it's a lot it's a lot okay make sure you got storage girl I'm, I'm just i'm just giving you one up okay okay and i'm just happy that i'm able to kind of like share you know what i've done so far with you guys and hopefully y'all find this video helpful because um i'm just i'm just spilling tea y'all like i'm just trying to get y'all tea but um i know a lot of you guys have been reaching out and i just wanted to share what i've been doing so far and what's worked for me i also make sure that i post on my Instagram I try to post every day it doesn't always happen because I do have other businesses that I run but I'm honestly in the process of merging polished picnics which is the name of this business um, together with my flower business because there's just no need to have both of them so I'm pretty much just gonna make it an all-in-one shop of everything so it'll be pretty much an all-in-one party styling type of business instead of having a two separate because it's just too much with me having that and then I also have a resale business and then I also have a self-care business called selfie so and I manage all of them so it's a lot so I'm trying to kind of condense everything down to where I'm able to you know not have so many different platforms that I'm worried about because that is very time consuming but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give this video a thumbs up um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more content from me I will be posting a crap ton of videos very soon because they are already recorded of like how to build your own picnic table how to build your own TP um, how to source items I will have a whole bunch of videos coming for you guys so be sure to make sure you're subscribed make sure you like make sure you follow all that good stuff and I will catch you guys in the next one bye Oh, 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 oh,